So your vehicle's crankcase and crankshaft will be located directly underneath your engine block. And now there's two different ways that they could be connected. The older way, they usually actually had a separate actual part for a crankcase that they bolted directly up underneath your engine block. Nowadays, it's usually just integrated directly into the engine block, so it's all just one giant part. So now, what's the purpose of them? The crankcase is pretty much usually just to hold the crankshaft itself and actually to attach a bunch of different parts of the engine to it. It's usually just kind of a holding grounds uh, so other things can attach to it. One of the most important parts that attaches to your crankcase is actually an oil pan, which is going to be connected directly to the bottom of it, and that's going to pretty much complete the whole engine ensemble. Uh, that's going to be where all your oil goes while you're not driving, and when it cools down, all your oil will seep down and just sit into the oil pan, and that's where you actually have your plug at in order to drain your oil if you're going to be changing your oil. So now moving back to your crankshaft. Uh, this is going to be kind of your powerhouse of your engine where all your power is going to be kind of converted into something that your vehicle can use. So it's going to be connected in a few different spots here. So it's actually going to be sitting inside of your crankcase and it's going to be sitting on something called bearing journals, which are pretty much just bearings that allow the uh, crankshaft to turn but not to vibrate and move out of its position. It's also going to be connected to your pistons above with uh, something called a connecting rod that looks like this. So the top end is going to be a little smaller and that's going to be attached to the top of your piston with a gudgeon pin. And it's going to be connected to the crankshaft down below. And it's actually, the bottom is actually going to come off and then it'll be bolted around the uh, crankshaft itself. So now the purpose of your crankshaft is actually going to be to turn the up and down motion, the vertical motion from the combustion chamber and pistons into reciprocal motion into something that the vehicle can use and turn all the belts and things like that. So that's pretty much what the crankshaft is there for. So while it turns, the piston's going to go up and down, which makes the connecting rod go up and down, which actually turns the crankshaft, which on the back of the crankshaft, it's going to be connected to the flywheel, which we'll go into a little bit later in a different video, and then also into the clutch and into the transmission, which actually physically turns your wheels and then on the front half of it it's going to be connected to a couple different belts and most importantly is going to be your timing chain or timing belt um, and that's going to be connected to up above and to your camshaft which runs your whole valve train so there's a quick run through on your crankshaft and crankcase uh, i'll be making videos again on all these other parts that i was talking about the clutch the flywheel the transmission and then also i already made one on the camshaft the valve train everything like that so if you're interested make sure to click the videos up above otherwise we'll see you guys next time guys